What's up, people? How y'all doing today? TC here with IOBA News and Information. Check it out. They keep beating us over the head. <clears throat> keep beating us over the head with this, with this R. Kelly documentary, and um, with all of this fake outrage about him uh, and the young girls he's been fucking around with for the last thirty years. They keep beating him over the head, beating us over the head with it, right? Because they're trying to drive the the final nail in the coffin of his career. They're trying to take back every dime they ever gave to R. Kelly. Uh, but in truth, and in fact, they didn't really give it to him. The guy can sing, and he is a, a great musical talent. But they're trying to beat him over the head with this thing he got uh, with these young women that he, uh, that he gets involved with. But my thing is, First, like I said the other day, and like everybody else with any any brains has been saying, they've known about this stuff for damn near 30 years. And he's he hasn't been convicted or uh, of any uh, child molestation charges or anything like that. So um, all they're doing now is a big character assassination like they did, like they did Cosby. And they're doing this character character assassination based on on the same shit that celebrities, especially white celebrities, have been doing for forever, forever and a day. I mean, going back to the earliest I can remember uh, hearing about was when Elvis Presley, Elvis, the, the so-called king of rock and roll, married Priscilla. I started fucking with Priscilla. She was 14. 14. And he and and, and 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 she was just the one we heard about that Elvis was fucking with. He probably had a string of little chicken heads out there, uh teenage girls out there that he was fucking with. But then he got with Priscilla because I guess he she something about her really appealed to him. And then he paid off the parents, and they more or less sold their daughter to him. That shit go on all the time. It's been going on forever in, in Hollywood and in these big celebrity circles. R. Kelly didn't invent that shit. But because they want to make the face of pedophilia a black face, and because they want to make all of this negativity, you know, something that black men supposedly do, supposedly do, well, then they're going to beat this, this R. Kelly thing to death until they get this man um, put either his, you know, career uh, under the jail or his body under the jail when, until they finish destroying him like they destroyed Cosby. But they're not destroying these other guys, these these Harvey Weinstein types and these Les Moonves types, and, and they're not destroying Elvis Presley's name, and they're not going after uh, Seinfeld when he was fucking that little teenage girl uh, years ago when he was like 40 and she was a teenager. Listen, I I know what it's like. I used to be, you know, young one time, and I used to work with a bunch of young people, a bunch of young teenage teenage girls. I was a coach, and they come at you. They really do with their little fucking bodies and whatever. But you got to be strong enough to say no. You got to keep things in a proper motherfucking perspective. You can't go after that young pissy ass pussy. You can't do it. And most men don't have the, the uh, wherewithal to say no. Most men can't, don't have the, re they can't, they can't resist that temptation. Some young 16 year old throwing herself at most motherfuckers ain't got the sense that God gave Billy Goats anyway. And don't fuck around and let him get some money. Because then they just turn into a six foot tall dick with no fucking brains. And any time a young girl smile at them, they think they fucking in love. And 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 R. Kelly and all of the rest of these guys, they ain't no different. But my thing is, why go after R. Kelly after all these years and not go after all of these other white celebrities who, who do the same fucking thing year in and year out, day after day, and nothing is ever said about it? It's because... They're trying to destroy heterosexual black men, uh, you know, at a systematic motherfucking level. They're trying to do this shit, trying to do this shit by degrees. You know what I'm saying?
gradually and by degrees. That's what they're trying to do to, to heterosexual black men. And after they get finished burying R. Kelly, because they're not going to stop. After they get finished burying R. Kelly, they're going to go after the next brother. And the next one, and the next one, and the next one. I mean, when they came after motherfucking Neil deGrasse Tyson, that shit, that shit just let me know that nobody is safe. They tried motherfucking Morgan Freeman. They try everything they do to get the motherfucking spotlight off them white boys who've been doing this shit forever and a day. And now it's R. Kelly's turn. Everybody's known about R. Kelly and people like him for decades and decades, and ain't nobody do shit. Make now they making documentaries surviving R. Kelly. Get the fuck out of here. Survive, surviving Elvis Presley, surviving Harvey Weinstein, surviving Les Moonves, surviving motherfucking all of the Woody goddamn Allen. These motherfucking white boys, they adopt. They want some young pussy so bad to they adopt a motherfucking girl or make the girl lay like mentee or some shit like that. And then they wind up fucking her. And then they go and proclaim to the world that they in love and they get married. But while she was underage, he was just her mentor. But then as soon as she turned 18, he, he go public. No mind she's been sucking his dick for the last goddamn three years since she turned 15. That's the kind of shit that white boys do. But ain't nobody saying nothing about that. They too busy focusing on destroying the lives and careers of heterosexual black men. And all of these motherfucking bitches, and yeah, I call them bitches, that's down with it. That, that's part of the fucking problem. That's all hooked into these white organizations whose main focus is to destroy heterosexual black men. A lot of these motherfucking women out there, they was, they was young when that shit happened or they were young parents when that shit happened and all they wanted to do was get paid so they didn't mind selling off their motherfucking daughter to these goddamn celebrities. I mean, check it. When I was, again, when I was in my 30s, and sometimes even in my 40s, and I was out there dating, and I'd date a woman, fuck around and run up on some woman that um, has a teenage daughter or something like that. I wouldn't go over to the bitch house. She had to come to my house if we was going if we was going to have a date or go somewhere. You know what I mean? Because I heard time and time again where these young, where young niggas be fucking the mama and the daughter. I, I never, I never um, got into that type of shit. Never put myself out there like that. Like I said, when I was coaching, them young girls come throw they trying to throw themselves at me. I just tell them get the fuck, a get off the team, and b get the fuck out of my face with that. Cause Coach Taylor don't do that shit. I just don't. And I, I've been working in high schools for a long time. No. A lot of every year motherfuckers get caught up in that shit. Every year. White coaches, black coaches, white teachers, mostly white teachers, female teachers get caught fucking the little teenage boys. So the point is adults been trying to fuck teenagers for the for the longest. And when you got a few dollars in your pocket, you get more access because you can a lot of times pay off the fucking fucked up ass parents. Because the parents are just as fucked up as the celebrities who are trying to fuck their daughters. You feel me? The parents of those daughters, a lot of times, just as fucked up. You know, and all they want to, all they want to do is get paid. They know their little teenage daughter fucking already, so she might as well be fucking for some money. And I'm telling you, that's how that shit works. And I'm not, I'm not talking about just in the hood either. I'm talking about all across fucking society. But right now, right now, there's a concerted effort to bring down and destroy R. Kelly. So that's who everybody and their mama going to focus on. 
and these Shea Butter hoes out there talking that shit about, oh, um, I was traumatized and I had no idea. That's bullshit. That's just straight up bullshit. They did have an idea. They knew exactly what the fuck was going on. So that's my real take on that R. Kelly shit. Like I said, they're going to finish destroying him, and then they're going to go after somebody the fuck else. So if you, if you like, you know, a celebrity out there, and you making some money, and you got some fame, you better look deep into your past, so you better contact every goddamn questionable, questionable piece of ass that you ever got, age-wise. Because they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna call on them motherfucking women to come out of the woodwork. They're going to embellish them fucking stories. And they're going to try to bring your ass down. I can't even say who's going to be next because I don't know. I mean, who's left? You feel me? It's like after Michael Jackson and Prince died, it became open season on black men and black celebrities. Black male celebrities. Anyway. You know, that's what that, that that's people don't understand, but that's that's how white supremacy works. And people don't want to call it white supremacy, but that's what it is. White people remaining supreme. And if you don't think they supreme, some deluded motherfuckers don't like to say white supremacy. Ain't nobody superior over me. White people own and control just about every major industry in this goddamn country. Fuck, in the world. They own and control it. They own and control the mass media, and they own and control what news you get to hear. And at the bottom of that R. Kelly documentary is, like Tariq Nasheed said, some motherfucking white people. I think the lady's name is Abigail Disney. She is the niece or something like that to old racist-ass Walt Disney. And then you don't get to see her because she buried four or five layers deep under some shea butter black women. Anyway, I guess I've said enough uh, on this shit. Uh, but I, I just wish I, it'll hurry up and go away because I'm really tired of hearing about it. I really am. R. Kelly, get the fuck out of here. Anyway, TC, and I'm out.